All right, so I was just on my official page. Um, talk for running my mouth way too long on my official page, but I know there's there was some confusion as to which page that I'll be doing this stuff from. Um, so I just wanted to take a quick second just to let y'all know that whether anything I'll be posting, um, anything that, you know, a lot of my activity is going to be going um, to my... Um, my activity is going to be going to my official page. So whenever I do stuff, you know, it's going to be on there. So if you're still on my personal page, like if you're on this page and I'm on live right now, you need to go to my official page, go like it, um, follow it. Cause that's where I'm going to be doing a lot of this stuff. And it looks like a lot of y'all on here. It looks like a lot more people are on here. So, um, but you know, again, like I'm sorry for the confusion. I, I'm trying to transition people from, uh, I'm trying to transition people from my personal page to official page just because it's stupid stuff with, like, on your personal page, you can only have, like, 5,000 friends or, you know, I have to, like, sit through. And everything's just not as organized as it is um, on, a, on, a, uh, on the official page. So whenever I do stuff, I will do it on there, but I know there's confusion. So that's why I'm stopping by here before I call it a night. Um, so... It seems like there's people here, um, so if there's anything, like I said, if there's any questions that y'all weren't on the other one, um, I was just sitting there, I was just answering people's questions. Y'all can ask me pretty much anything and everything y'all want to know, um, so if y'all got anything, um, you can definitely just feel free to ask, you know, and I'll answer. Um, so I see everybody saying, what's up, what's up, what's up, how you doing? Nice to see y'all, nice to meet y'all. Um, so wow, there's a lot more people on here. Um, yeah, so that's okay. Y'all need to, y'all need to go follow my other page. So I'm, I'm glad there's more people on here. I'm glad that y'all on here, but, um, you know, I, I need y'all to, I need y'all to go to my other page. This page can't handle it, but, um, so <laughs> Keith, <laughs> Keith, that's Keith, Keith, the Keith William guy. I played football with him. That's my boy. Love him. Miss him. Uh, that's my dog. Um, let's see, Shakoy. Hi, Shakoy. How you doing? Um, let's see, what's that? What's that? Paula, what's up, bro? Um, uh, so yeah. So again, like y'all gotta. I'm not just gonna sit here and just run my mouth and um, just ramble on. Like I want y'all to ask questions, anything you want to know, um, anything that you know you're wondering about me. Um, just ask away, and and, I, and I'll answer. I'll be very truthful. Uh, I was telling, I was telling the other chat, um, that, you know, I keep it real. Um, I, I my brand is always going to be me. My brand is always going to be, uh, you know, who I am. Like I'm, I'm never going to pretend to be somebody else. I'm never going to pose as somebody else. Um, everything I do is going to come, you know, from me. It's going to come from my mind. It's going to, you know, come from my personal character. Um, so, so that's that. Um, so again, I'll be truthful how I answer, um, I'm going to be real with how I answer, um, so, hey, Lily, how you doing, uh, what's up, what's up, uh, let's see, what month is my birthday, so my birthday was actually last Thursday, last Thursday is when, um, I celebrated my birthday, um, I turned, uh, 23, well, was it last Thursday now, or two Thursdays ago now, now it was like two Thursdays. Now it was like two Thursdays ago. Now I'm getting mixed up. But yeah, May 11th. May 11th is my birthday. Just turned 23. Um, so so that's that. Um, let's see, Jasmine Marie. Am I single? Yes, I'm single. Um, I know a lot of people are wondering that. Um, yes, I'm single. Um, that's what I'll say there. Um, let's see. Let's see. Hey, Jocelyn, how you doing? Yo, Jocelyn be holding it down for me. There'll be people out there that be talking mad stuff. They be running their mouth. They be, like, talking bad about me. And she, she went after this one dude for me, man. She held it down. Like, this dude was just, I don't know, just being a typical hater. But uh, she definitely held it down. But, so, I appreciate you, Jocelyn. My favorite ice cream, I love cookie dough ice cream. Cookie dough is definitely, like, you know, my favorite ice cream. Um, let me make sure my phone don't cut off on y'all. Uh, make sure I just put it on the charger. But yeah, cookie dough is my favorite ice cream. So that's that. Uh, let's see. I right, bet. Make sure it's plugged in. Uh, 
Um, let's see what else we got. What else we got? Um, yeah, thank you. Oh, thank y'all for the happy belated birthday wishes. Um, appreciate that. Y'all are too kind. Y'all are very nice for that. Uh, appreciate it. Appreciate it. Let's see. Uh, hey, Chase. Hey, Wolfpack. Yep, that's my that's my other boy, Chase Mattingly. I played football with him in high school. Wolfpack was like a little. Oh wow, a month apart. That's lit. That's um. Let's see where I live. So, um, I'm originally from Indianapolis, Indiana. Um, that's where I was originally uh, born and raised. Let's see. I moved out. Um, I went to college in, in Boston. Um, let's see. Well, I, I'm only a year out of college, but so like I said, Indianapolis up until high school, and then I went to college in Boston, and then I graduated college. Uh, graduated college economics finance degree. Um, and now I'm working full time in Boston. So currently I'm in Boston. Um, let's see my favorite meal. Uh, so I was ta talking about on my other page, love soul food. Like I, I love candy yams. Um, I love fried pork chops. I love fried chicken. I love, um, you know, uh, I also love seafood though. I love salmon. I love crab. I love shrimp. Um, I'm a big, well, but I, since I've been out here, though, I definitely do like Spanish food. Like, I do, you know, I will get down with some sachichon. I'll get down with some platanos. I'll get down with some queso frito. Um, you know, I'll get down with, like, this one breakfast that is kind of weird. It's like eggs and french fries. Like, when I first saw it, I was like, I was like, Ugh. I was like, Ooh, who does that? But once I actually had it, I was like, damn, that's kind of bomb. So, um, but... So the question of can I cook, um, I can cook well enough to make sure I don't starve. That's like, that's like the extent of my cooking. Like, I mean, I can do a little something, you know what I mean? Like, it, some, sometimes, you know, sometimes I might accidentally put my foot in it, you know, where it's bomb. But most of the time, it's, it's, it's good enough for me to eat. How about that? Um... Let's see. Have you been to Shaking Crab? I've never been to Shaking Crab. I don't know what that is, um, but hopefully, uh, hope, hopefully, I'll, I'll get there one day. I love like crab seafood spots. Um, let's see. Can I sing? Um, I don't know. I used to be able to sing. Uh, I used to be able. To, I used to be in the choir, and I've been told I can. I can sing. Like I'm. I'm okay. Like like I'm alright. Like. I can sing. I can sing well enough where if I was to like sing in an intimate setting, like I don't think it would be awkward. Like I don't think like it would be too awkward. So I think I don't know though. I haven't really. I've only done that like very, very, very few times, and I haven't done that in a long time. But um, but yeah, so I'm alright. Uh, let's see. What sports do I play? Um, so. I played football all throughout high school, all throughout college, um, and then now I do, uh, I play flag football as a washed up athlete, washed up, so, um, and then I, I hoop, I play basketball too, so it's a good, so it's good workouts, and then, you know, I lift, like I train, like I still train my body, um, I like that uh, feeling of physical development and pushing myself, because um, that, it translates into the workplace, so. And then also, I want to be fit. I want to be healthy. Um, let's see. Zach saw we still going hard in the paint. Uh, yeah, so back in high school, um, I used to do this thing. I used to do this thing where, like, that Walker song came out hard in the paint. I used to, like, you know, like, our prom, I went on stage shaking my dreads, like, you know, doing young boy stuff. You know, it was a good time. Though. It was fun. You know, I definitely had some, definitely had some good memories there. Um, let's see, do I, let's see, do I have any hidden talents besides modeling? Um, so first of all, speaking of that, I, I really only started like this whole model thing like three weeks ago, right? Like I really didn't, um, like I'm not no like superstar model, nothing, nothing like that. Like I'm, I'm a regular guy. I go to work like everyone else. I just decided one day, like I'm going to take some pictures, like, but, but no, in all seriousness though. Um, I was suggested to do it. I couldn't do it in college because, um, you know, my schedule was too crazy. 
but I just, I never want to live my life and go through my life with regrets. I don't want to go through life and be like, um, you know, why didn't I do this? Or I should have done that. So I definitely wanted to give it a chance and, you know, see what happens. Like I never thought my stuff would be going over the place and just to make it clear, by the way, just make it clear right now. I'm going to set the record straight right now. There's probably some of you on here that saw that meme, that whole like uh, social media, handsome man, whatever. Like there's probably people on here that saw that before I did. Like my boy like sent me that on Instagram and I was like, what is this? And then I started like going to these different pages and these different pages and blogs had this thing. Like, like my question is, first of all, who is social media? Like who conducted, you know, a vote? Like, I, I I don't know what that thing was, but only thing I was upset about was people not tagging me. <laughs> That's the only thing I was upset about, but um, it's one thing, boy. There's some disrespectful people out there. God damn. Like, I had some people really getting after me, like, really, like, talking about, oh, your eyes are so, oh, his eyes are so fake, or, oh, his nose is big, like, oh, this and that. I was just like, God damn, y'all some disrespectful people, but... <laughs> But it's cool. It's it's all right. Whatever. Like social media. I put myself out there. That's when I get. Um, look, yes, I am. I am single. I am single. Uh, so what do I look for in a woman? Um, so what I look for, like, I don't necessarily look for like a particular thing, right? Um, I appreciate. There's. I see beauty in a lot of different kind of women. Um, you know, I think. I don't know. I, that's part of my problem. I think women are just the greatest, one of the greatest things on this planet. Um, but no, serious. No, in all seriousness, though, um, a woman's character is like a huge, huge thing for me. Um, woman's character, woman's personality, woman's class, how she carries herself. Um, that's one thing that'll either make you look better to me, or it'll make you look worse. Um, so obviously, a woman's appearance, like that's gonna attract me, um, but. What's going to keep me is, you know, who you are, um, how you carry yourself. Huge turnoff for me is, again, women that uh, put themselves above other people, women that think they're better. And this is just in general. Like, there's not too many things that will make you in a place where I wouldn't want to have a relationship with you. Not just with women, but just, like, you know, friendships or, you know, just different partnerships or whatever like that. There's not too many things that will make me not deal with you. But the one thing that will really piss me off is people that are condescending, that put down others. Um, you know, people that just think themselves be above everybody. Like, that's, I don't get down with that. I don't like that. Um, there are some instances where I will call you out for that. Like, if you're sitting there, like, talking about somebody you're trying to put them down, like, I'm going to tell you to chill out, like, that's just, like, how I am, I don't care if we're at work, I don't care if we're at home, I don't care if we're in a club, like, like, I don't, I don't get down, I don't get down with that, um, but, yeah, that's, like, one thing that'll really turn me off, um, so, yes, I have a Snapchat, so my Snapchat, um, and I'll put it, I'll put it on here, I'll put all my social media on here, like, afterwards, but my Snapchat is, uh, Quincy underscore 40, um, my Instagram is Quincy underscore Giles 40. Um, and then y'all on my Facebook, so y'all, y'all know what that is. Um, let's see. Uh, where would you go for a first date? Um, it really depends. Um, it really depends on, it really depends on the situation, how I'm feeling a woman out, you know, what I feel like she may be interested in, but, um, I mean, I'm open to... I mean, we can go out to eat. Um, what I would love to do, what I really like to do is, like I said, I like going to parks. Like I like like walking around and seeing the beauties of nature while I'm getting to know a person. Like, I don't, I don't know, like those, those are like, those are dope dates to me. Like, obviously, like we can go out and get food, like we can eat, we can enjoy a meal. But like having that one-on-one -on -one time to, I don't know, let's say we're walking around a pond or... Um, we're, we're walking through some nice greenery, like we just seeing the, seeing the, the beauties that's, that's around us. Like, I think that only make the vibe that much better. Um, but there's, I mean, it just depends. Like, it depends on what we want to do. Um, so yeah, I'll come to Jersey one day. I'll make it out there. I'm, I'm open to pretty much going, um, 
anywhere and everywhere. Uh, one of my goals, my, my roommate's goal, who's not here, um, he wants to do 40 countries and 40, before 40. Um, so I'm down with that. You know, I definitely want to see, you know, different parts of not only the U.S., but different parts of the world. One thing about me is I think one of the best ways to grow and have a better understanding of yourself and your own values is to, you know, explore other perspectives. You know, there's not one absolute truth, right? I mean, there's a lot of different things that we can take in for ourselves from other cultures and other perspectives and other people. So, um, let's see, Samantha, do I not answer messenger after telling me to message you? So, so that's one thing. So this is one of the reasons why I did this, right? Y'all cannot take it personal if I don't reply to you. Like I try to reply as much as I can, but I work, at, I like, I, I work nine to five, sometimes nine to six, sometimes eight thirty to six thirty. you know, um, like, I'm not on social media all day, every day. This is not, like, you know, this is not what I do. Um, but, like I said, I love having conversations with y'all. I love interacting with y'all. So because I can't respond to everybody, this is the reason why I came on here and I wanted to give y'all as much opportunity to get to know me and ask anything that you want to ask about me. So so don't take it personal. Like, there's, there's nothing personal about it. Like, I'm not one of those snobby people that thinks they're too good to you know, respond to somebody, right? Like, everyone deserves acknowledgement. Everyone, you know, I love to talk to everybody. Um, uh, how does my family feel about women of all ages being on me? Uh, they really laugh, right? So, uh, so my dad's, my dad's on here. Um, you know, my family's on here. They've been pretty interactive. My, my parents are young, right? My parents are, you know, they had me at 15, 16 years old. So, uh, we're a lot closer than... Um, a lot of other people's parents just because we, you know, we understand each other. Um, you know, we're, we're close enough in age where we can relate on a lot of different levels. Um, so, but my eyes do come from my dad. So, like you said, I almost did a picture for y'all. I almost did a picture of me, my dad, my sister. We all have the same eyes. People be talking about oh, my eyes are fake or I got contacts, whatever. No, I get them from Terrell Giles. He's in here. He's got the same eyes I got. Sydney Giles, she got the same eyes I got. We all got them, so um, yeah. So that's that. Um, have I been to Canada, uh, Candace? Yes, I've been to Canada before. Actually, I've been to Canada once. My my boy, my best friend, uh, his name is DeAndre Townsend. Um, he plays ball. Uh, well, he did play college ball for Calgary Dinos. I don't know if you've ever heard of Calgary Dinos, uh, but he played up there, and I, I always want to watch him play. So I got to, I had the fortunate opportunity to be able to fly up there um, and, and watch my boy play, you know, his, uh, his senior year. Um, so that's the one time I've been to Canada. I do plan on getting to Canada more, um, especially since I live in the Northeast. Like, I want to get out, like, I want to get to Toronto, I want to get to Montreal, like, and I don't know, I would explore Canada too. Um, would I like to host a party in, Car in Caraco or, or Car I don't know if I said that right, but yeah, I'd be down for that. Listen, any excuse, any excuse I get to go travel and be somewhere, like I'm with it. Like if you if you have anything that you want me to do, you know, outside the country, um, I'll put my email in here too. You want me to have anything to do outside the country, or even in the country? Like if you got things you want me to do, like host a party, like or um, I don't know anything. Like you definitely hit me up. You know, my, my email is quincy.giles13 at gmail.com. Like, I'm, I'm down for all that. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm with it. So, um, let's see. Empire Studios. I don't know what that is, but what's up, what's up? Um, let's see. South Carolina. I'll definitely visit South Carolina one day. Um, what's my one dream um, that, well, I'm not ready to accomplish this, but that I want to accomplish is... Um, Ultimately, everything that I'm leading towards, everything I'm leading towards, everything I'm going to do is for a couple things. One thing is for I want to make sure that I can take responsibility and take care of my family. Like that's that's one thing I want to make sure my family is stable, they're happy, and I'm not only affecting my children, but I want to be able to be in a place where I can affect my grandchildren, my great grandchildren. I want to set a foundation and a legacy for my family going forward. So that's one thing. But another thing is I do want to have community impact. I want to be, I want to be the plug for somebody. Like I love to be somebody's plug to give opportunity for others. Like, you know, 
So give an opportunity, take care of my family, and I want to help break the cycle of, you know, we, we have this cycle in our youth where uh, there's a lot of youth out there that become, that are very narrow-minded and believe that they're not capable of more than what they really are capable of. There's a lot of youth that, you know, they think that, you know, all they can do is be the hood nigga. You know, all they can do is be the trap star. You know, all they can do is, you know, play ball or, or rap or entertainment, whatever. Like, there's so much more that we're capable of. There's so much more that we can do. Like, we belong and, are, and you know, with hard work, like, we can earn a place um, in positive settings um, just like everyone else. And I think there's a lot of young people out there who think that they just don't belong there. So, and I think there's a cycle of that. And I think there's a cycle of glorifying the wrong things. Um, so that's one thing I, I want to try to help break that cycle. So that's my long winded answer. So, um, let's see. Oh, Hey, Indianapolis. What up? What up? Oh, you saw me at the club. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I went to, uh, let's see, what was I at? I was at, like, Taps and Dolls or something. Either Taps and Dolls or Tiki Bars, you probably saw me. But thank you for sharing my photos. You know, I really appreciate y'all. All of y'all out there sharing my photos, sharing my stuff. Like, I really appreciate y'all the love. Y'all showing me whatever. Um, so, I just saw some, uh, somebody's comment. I just saw it. I said, what's my biggest fear? So, my biggest fear is honestly not achieving what I want to achieve. My all, my biggest fear is falling short. Um, my biggest fear, there's a there's a quote from this song. I love it. It's from uh, uh, the Blue and Exiles, um, uh, like uh, Above the Heavens, I think that's called. And it's like one of those things where they're just playing like the in-between songs. And the guy says like his fear is like not being able to answer the question of his son who's asking like, what did you do, daddy, when the shit was going down? If I'm in a place at the end of my life where I can't answer my son, like, what did you do in life? How did you impact people? Um, how did you create opportunity for people? You know, what did you do to uplift your community? What did you do to make the lives of people around you better? I can't answer that question. Then that's my biggest fear is not getting to where I want to get to. So um, I, I'm terrified of that. Um, but you know, all I can do is grow. All I can do is just continue in the grind and strive for where I want to be and just try to take steps forward, taking action towards those goals. That's all I can really do. Um, let's see. You saw, uh, let's see. Who is my, let's see. What are my biggest dreams? Um, I mean, my biggest dreams is it goes into what I just was talking about. Just like, achieving what I want to achieve. My biggest dreams is being able, I, my biggest dreams is having somebody with a big smile on their face, you know, looking at me and, you know, showing their appreciation for, and I don't need, I'm not saying I need the appreciation, but seeing the impact of what I can have on somebody's life and seeing the impact of, uh, you know, things that I've touched uh, to uplift people. I mean, that's one of, the, I, I would love that. Like, I would love to see that and I would be so grateful um, let's see, what else, what else, what type of music I like, so, I like the different, I like different things, right, so, I listen to, I listen to my hood shit, like, I can be ratchet, like, I listen to, you know, my Gucci, my Walk, I listen to my Future, I mean, Future ain't that, like, trappish, but, um, you know, my Boosie, I like Boosie, um, I listen to, like I said, I listen to stuff to turn up, and I listen to my intellectual stuff, right, I listen to, I like listening to comedy, like I said, I like, you know, when I need to focus, like, I like listening to Blue and Exile, I like Black Star, uh, I like Kendrick, I like J. Cole, um, you know, then I like my R&B, like, one of my favorite, like, I like Trey, Trey songs, like, that's probably my favorite, like, current R&B artist right now, uh, I like Jack Keys, I like him, I like all, like, old, like, 90s R&B music, um, I mean, I have appreciation for a lot of music. Like, I'll sit there and listen to jazz with my grandma. Like, I like all different kind of music. Um, let's see. Uh, no, let's see. No, I'm not. Kimmy, I'm not in a relationship with anyone. Let's see. Love Mary Jane. Hey, babe. Well, hey, what's up? How you doing? Um, let's see. Uh, let's see. What else? What else? Uh, what are my strengths and weaknesses? Uh, I would say... 
one of my strengths is that, like, I don't believe myself to be the best at anything. Um, what I do think, though, is that I have a knack for trying to find a way. Like, you know, I'm not the smartest guy. Like, I'm not the strongest guy. I've never been the fastest guy. Um, but I've always been the guy that perseveres and grinds and just really tries to find a way to be successful. Um, so, who's that, Curtis? What's happening, Curtis? What's up? Um, but, yeah, so I think that's one of my strengths. My weakness, sometimes I can get too down on myself, um, which I think is a strength, too. I have high expectations for myself. I never want to fail. I don't like falling short. But one of the things I've had to overcome is when I do fall short, like, I do sometimes, well, I might beat myself up. So that's one thing I've had to overcome. I don't do it as much anymore, but that's one thing. Um, so am I a perfectionist? No, I'm not. I won't say that I'm a perfectionist. Like, I'm not one of those people that spaz out if I don't get something like just, I mean, obviously I want to get it right, right? But I look for, I look for growth. Like, I'm somebody that, like, I want to constantly grow and just get better and develop. But, I mean... I do want to get it right, right? Like, I'm a competitor. Like, I want to do the shit right. Like, I want to get it done. Like, I want to, you know, I want to be successful with it. Like, I, I, you know, that's what I want to do. But definitely, I'm not a perfectionist. I'm not one of those people that, you know, like, I definitely don't spaz on others when they don't get, when they don't get things done. Like, I'm not one of those people. If anything, like, I look at myself and my own failures. But when it comes to other people, like, I take responsibility. Like, if I'm trying to teach somebody something at work and they're not really getting it, um, then I, I take responsibility for myself. You know, maybe there's something I'm not doing to get, you know, the message across. Maybe there's something I'm not, I'm not teaching something correctly. Um, maybe I'm not communicating something correctly. So when it comes to somebody else, like I don't expect people to get it done right. I take it as my responsibility to help them out. Um, let's see. Samantha. Let's, I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to answer the questions. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Samantha. What's your question? I, you used to give me a question, I'll answer. Um, let's see. I don't have any other tattoos, Jamie. I don't have anything else. Um, I just have the one lion. Um, let's see here. Samantha, I'm looking for your question. You talked all that stuff about how I'm not answering you. Um, but I don't see you. Uh, let's see. What else? What else? Where am I from? So, again, I'm from Indianapolis, Indiana. Um, let's see. Yes, I believe in God. Yes. So, that's one thing that um, I need to work on is my relationship with him. I used to go to Bible study, like, every Tuesday um, at school, and I haven't been doing as good of a job. Um, so, that's one thing I need to get back to and, and build my relationship back up for. Um, so... Uh, Crystal, yeah, okay, well, like I said, I can only see, I only see, like, four messages at a time, so, you know, like I said, it's my first time doing this, so, you know, be, you know, be gentle with me, y'all, okay, uh, let's see, let's see, what's the, I get, uh, okay, let's see, do you ever think you will start acting, <laughs> so, oh, Nat Town, what's up, how you doing, so, <laughs> I actually got hit up um, to try to do a little something. I never thought, like I said, I never thought I'd be modeling, never thought I'd be acting, but um, I'm open to the opportunity. Um, I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna explore it. I'm gonna be real with you. I'm gonna explore it. I'm gonna see where it goes. Uh, never thought I would, but you know, we'll see. Um, do I know any other languages? I know a little bit of Spanish, uh, but not enough to be like I speak Spanish, but I can read it. Um, somewhat, and I can understand somewhat if it's slow enough, but not enough to where I'd be like, I speak Spanish, but I can speak a little bit here and there. Um, yep, Southport, I see you, Morgan. Uh, you know, Southport Middle. Uh, let's see. What did I major in when I was in college? Um, so I majored in economics and finance. Uh, that was my major, and so right now I I work in finance. I work at Liberty Mutual Insurance. I work uh, financial analytics, so I do accounting. I do financial analysis. Um, so that's like my real job. So this model stuff is just on the side. 
Um, no, I'm not going to sing for y'all. That's, I'm not that good. Like, I'm not that good to just drop down and just start singing. Like, no, y'all, y'all will clown me. <laughs> um, uh, absolutely, I'm willing to meet people face to face. Um, I believe in face to face interaction. Like, I don't believe in just getting to know people like through, I mean, you can get to know somebody through social media, but ultimately, this is kind of the reason why I did this. Like, I want y'all to see me. I want y'all to see my face see my hand gestures, see my body language, and so y'all can ask me things and get to know me better. So that's the reason why I did this. So, um, Who are my major influences? So my father, that's probably my one of my biggest, that probably is my biggest influence, and the coaches that I've had throughout my life. Um, those are people that really molded my character and, you know, really, you know, pushed to make me the person I am, you know, you know, there's other, you know, you know, my mother and my grandparents, like definitely family coaches. Uh, but I would say my biggest influences are my father, my father and my coaches I've had. Um, let's see, how old am I? Let's see, I'm 23. I'm am open to uh, I, I'm open to all kind of women, right? Like I'm not, I, like I said, I'm open to at least exploring something, right? Like I'm open to uh, seeing what a situation is. I'm never gonna go into a situation. Before I look into it and say, no, like, I'm not going to do it. Like, I will give it an opportunity and, you know, I will explore it. Like, I think one thing that people do, they shut themselves down before they even get to know an opportunity. Um, let's see here. Do I have any pets? So I did have a dog. She passed away like a couple months ago. That was my baby. Um, so right now I don't have any pets. Um. I don't know if I'll get one anytime soon, but, but yeah, so that's that. Um, wow, y'all asked something. So I'm not gonna answer too crazy. Y'all asked something real crazy. I'm probably not gonna. I'm probably not gonna answer that. Uh, let's see. What high school did I go to? So I, so for my Indianapolis folks, I left Southport and I ended up going to Cathedral High School. Um, I was fortunate enough to my father, and my my parents put me in a good enough situation to be able to earn. Uh, full tuition scholarship to like cover that stuff. So I ended up going to Cathedral, and then I went to Bentley University. That's the college I went to. Um, so which is here in Boston. Um, so my biggest pet peeve. Um, oh, you see, I'm sorry. Let's see. I don't know if I'm saying your name right. Taisha, Taisha, you, Tisha. You saw me at the club. You should have said what's up. Uh, but my biggest pet peeve um, is again. I said earlier. Uh, people that are condescending, people that uh, put themselves above others. Um, that's a big pet peeve. Now, a big pet peeve, of, like I said, if I'm dealing with you, like, like I said, I'm talking for a female. Um, one of the pet peeves I have is jumping to conclusions and making assumptions. Um, that's a big thing for me just because just cause my thing is like, how are you going to tell me, like, what I'm talking about. How you gonna tell me what, what my motives are behind what I'm saying? So like I'm a person which I need to work on this too is is asking questions and asking for further insight versus trying to say, you know, how you know one thing, you know, was meant by a person. Um so asking questions is big. Um let's see, do I want to get married in the future? Absolutely. Everything I do, um Everything I do is to have a stable, you know, home, um, have children, you know, have, you know, grandkids, like do all those beautiful things. That's, that's the most beautiful thing in life. Like, I don't, I don't want to be just by myself my whole life. I don't want to be just out here, you know, like I said, I'm sure there's plenty of people out there thinking I'm, well, I want to be out messing with girls and doing all these different things. Like, I mean, that stuff gets lonely. Um, so that's not it for the long run. Uh, let's see here. Uh, need me in Houston? I'll, I'll be out there in Houston one day. Um, let's see. Kimmy, I'm glad you came by. Thank you, Kimmy. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Lud or Quay? I saw my comment. I didn't see your comment. I didn't see that. Uh, let's see. Yes, I'm single. What's my zodiac sign? I'm a Taurus. Like I said, I was born in May. My, uh, my birthday was May 11th, so that's when that was. Um, could I marry a woman with children? Uh, I'm not going to say I can't. Uh, again, like I'm very open um, to any situation. 
Uh, I'm not going to guarantee that I would stay in that situation, but I'm open to exploring things. I mean, you never know. You never know if something may work out. I think when people don't give something a shot, they may be missing out on something that could really be good for them. Um, let's see. Do I like women with natural hair? Yeah, yeah, I like women with natural hair, but that's not to say that I don't like women who don't have natural hair. I mean, I I like all sorts of women. I'm I'm open to... I'm I'm not like narrow minded and okay you got to be this you got to have this you got to have that like no like I see beauty in 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 all different kinds of women and again like I'm about character I'm about personality as much as y'all think y'all may think that I'm bullshitting or not real about that but um I I really am like that like you know a woman's character and woman's personality is ultimately cuz it's going to be the deciding factor of whether you know, I stay and I continue to build a relationship with you or I go and I grow unattracted to you. So, um, but yes, I love kids. I love kids. Uh, we get along very well. Um, like I said, I can be a goofball. I can be silly. Um, so, um, so yeah, I love kids. Do I have any corns on my feet? No, I ain't got nothing like that. That's nasty. <laughs> um, would I date someone younger? I mean, honestly, not. I mean, not too, like I said, I'm open to things, but it's probably likely that they're not, I mean, it's probably likely that they're not at the mental or emotional stage that I would need them to be at, so, I mean, I wouldn't go below 21, um, but, um, no, nah, like, I ain't, like, I need, I need somebody that's, you know, is at the same maturity level and emotional level that, you know, I don't like playing games, I don't like, you know, I don't like playing, like, you know what I mean? So, I really can't really do the young stuff too much. Um, you did tell us last time that an ugly personality will come out sooner or later on their outer appearance. Yes, yeah, so, again, um, a person's appearance will be affected by the personality. Like, if I really like your character and I like your personality, you're going to look better to me. You're going to look that much more beautiful to me, and you're going to be something that, you know, will last. My attraction to you will last, but if you're somebody that I don't like your character and, um, you know, I don't like your personality, then then you won't look as good to me. Would I date a girl who, don't, you, who doesn't wear makeup? Yeah, you don't have to wear, you don't have to wear makeup for me to date you. Again, like this, there's not, there's, there are, I don't have check marks for like uh, what a woman has to have or doesn't have to have. I mean, it's just got to be the right fit, you know, I think. I think there are plenty of situations where, you know, a woman is great, you know, a woman, you know, has all the credentials, but they just may not be the right fit for somebody. So you got to find a person that's the right fit for you. But there's, I don't have necessarily like a, a list of things a woman has to have. So, and no, I saw this 26 too old. That's like three years older than me. That's, <laughs> you're my age. <laughs> um, let's see. Oh, thank you, California, California Cash. I'm, I'm glad you like my hair. Uh, Caraco, what's up, what's up? Um, yes, personality and chemistry is everything, absolutely. Um, let's see here. Yes, again, I'd be open to all different kinds of women. Um, like I said, I see beauty in a lot of different things. Um, uh, let's see. Where do you see myself in the next five to ten years? Um, so, I don't really know the answer to your question, um, I never thought I'd be on a Facebook Live video, you know, letting people get to know me and talking to people that are actually interested in seeing, like, what kind of person. Oh, I don't know why. That... Um, that's my, that's something else. That's my picture. Um, but, yeah, um, I don't know where I'm going to be. All I can say is I'm trying to grow. I'm trying to. Um, continue to develop professionally. I want to get out there and meet a lot of different people. And hopefully five to ten years, I'm at a, a very um, financially I'm at a good place. Hopefully I'm in a place um, of influence. And t ten years from now, I'd hope that I'm married. I have beautiful children. Um, and I would hope that I'm impacting my community. I would hope that, you know, I'm opening up doors for people. And... I hope that door to continue to open up for myself so then I can therefore, like everything that I really want for myself is in order to have the resources to give impact and influence on others and opportunity for others. So, you know, I believe that, you know, success isn't 
at the point of your own success, whether it be financially or, or your own goals. You know, I think the, the last line of your success is how you pass on to others. Um, let's see. Uh, am I in school? Uh, so right now I'm not in school. I graduated from college um, this past May. Or not, no, no, sorry, not this past May, a year ago. So I graduated in 2016. Um, now I work full time uh, again. So I'm currently not in school, but I will one day go back for my MBA. Um, let's see here. Hey, Tia, how you doing? We'll say hi. Hey, Tia, Tia March. Um, so let's see here. Oh, wow. Damn. I'm five. You're going to use your last 5% on me, Lily. Thank you. I appreciate you. Um, let's see. How we doing here? What time is it, y'all? I got me. I've been talking to y'all for a while. Um, but I'm enjoying my conversation with y'all. It's been cool. It's been fun. But, you know, again, like, ask me. Keep asking me questions. You know, as soon as the questions stop, um, you know, I'm... You know, I'm going to get off of here, but I, I want y'all, I'm, I'm going to be open. Uh, Lexi Lee, what's up, what's up? Um, but again, I'll answer anything, like anything y'all ask me, unless it's something like so, so crazy, um, you know, I won't answer it, but pretty much anything else. Um, yes, I definitely believe in uh, speaking things into existence. Uh, I definitely think that's something that's very important for people. I think it's a great exercise in order to you know, visualize and, you know, repeat your, your goals. Cause the more you tell yourself your goals, the more you visualize your goals, I think the more you'll, you'll see and focus on what you need to do to find a way to achieve your goals. Um, let's see. Let's, oh, good night. Good night. Let's see. Addison. Oh, thank you. Thank you for stopping by. Uh, Melford Murray. What's up? What's up? Um, Let's see, Candace, I'm glad you like me. Appreciate that. Uh, other than social media, what do I do for fun? So, honestly, like, I just started the social media thing, right? Like, this isn't, like, what I do. <laughs> I don't sit around and just do social media. Um, like, you know, I work and stuff. But uh, but this is fun. This is cool. But I like to go out. Like I said, I'll go out with my boys. Um, I don't really go out too much. But I'll go out. I'll hang out with my boys here and there. Um... Like I said, I like doing, like, when it gets warmer out, I like walking through nature, doing nature stuff. Like, I like, um, like, at lunchtime, when it gets warm, I like to go to the Boston Commons. And I like to just, like, you know, just watch, like, like, I like watching the squirrels that are running around. I like watching the ducks that are on the pond. I like, you know, watching the swan. I like walk, walking through the park and looking out through the different trees and the greenery. Like, I like that kind of stuff. Um... Let's see. Hey, Rebecca, how you doing? Uh, what's up, Amexis Pagan? Hope I said that right. Um, let's see. What else? Yeah, I'm, I'm glad y'all. I'm glad y'all watching my watch this video. It's crazy. I don't. I never thought that people would be interested in getting to know me and would watch a video this long. I never thought I'd be running my mouth this long. Uh. Oh, you want to walk the canal? Um, I don't know when I'm going to be back home. I'm going to be, I hadn't been home in a year, to be honest. I hadn't seen my family in a year, and that was way too long. Um, so I definitely will try to make it back home sooner or later. Um, I'm not going to take a year away from home um, like I did before. Um, let's see. Shakita, thank you for that. I appreciate it. Christy, good night. Thank you. Thank you for stopping by. Rashida, I'm doing okay. I'm doing all right. I appreciate talking to y'all. Uh, am I knowledgeable on world affairs, Tisha? Um, so, I mean, I would say I'm not like a super expert, but I think I'm, you know, I'm definitely aware of uh, what's going on. Um, some, at least somewhat aware. Like there's still plenty of things out there that I could continue to expand my knowledge about, but I do care about what's going on in our world, what's going on in our country, what's going on in our communities. Like, again, like, how how can I service my community and, and help my community if I don't know what they need, right? If I don't know, like, what's going on, if I don't know what's affecting them, if I don't know what's oppressing them, um, you know, how can I be effective if, if I'm not informed? Um, come to Cali, yeah, I got family in Cali. Um, I got family in the Bay. 
Uh, I got a lot of people in Oakland, the San Francisco area. Uh, so that's where my people are. Um, so I'll be out in Cali sometimes. Um, thank you. I'm glad, Lily, I'm, I'm glad you enjoy my live. I'm glad you like that. Um, have I ever gotten in trouble with the law? No, I've not been in trouble with the law. I don't plan on being in trouble with the law. Um, no, no, just, no, I don't. I, I got too much going on and too many people that I need the service to be having a record. You know, black man with a record don't really do. It's, it's life is that much more challenging. Being black in America, that's one thing. But being black in America, having a record, you know, no matter how much you might turn your life around, no matter how much positivity that uh, you have taken in for yourself and put out there, it's still hard. You know what I mean? So it's definitely something I don't want to hold me back. Um, hey, boss in the building. What's up, Amanda? How you doing? Uh, let's see. Yeah, Andrea, yeah, I used to play ball. Uh, I played football in college, um, but, you know, don't play anymore. Those are some freak athletes in the league, you know, not, you know, not for me. Um, you know, I switched positions in college and put me in a place where, you know, like I said, I had a good time in college. I had fun. Um, I had fun with my people. You know, got a, got a degree, you know, for a much lower price than what it should have been. Um, so, yeah, there's that. Um, let's see, Nikki, what are my talents? What do I enjoy doing for others? Um, so again, like I'm not like, I'm not like an entertainer. Like this isn't, at least not yet. Like that's not like what I do. Um, like, as far as like, I guess my biggest things is I like, like, for example, I just spoke at a youth empowerment thing. Um, I don't know if you saw that post on my Facebook. I spoke there like a couple weeks ago. Um, I, I would say my talent is sparking inspiration and motivation, um, into teens. At least I hope that is, I hope, I hope I'm being effective in that. You know, I, I like, um, I like motivating people into believing in themselves. I think one of the, the biggest things that hold people back is not their capability, but it's their self doubt. It's the belief that they can't do something. People's own self-doubt is the biggest thing that holds them back. And so I try to talk to people. And one of my biggest things that I hope that I'm somewhat good at is letting people know that you're much more capable of what you think you are. Um, do I plan on going back to get another degree? Yes, I will eventually get my MBA. Um, I never want to be in a place where I'm not uh, qualified. Or I don't have the credentials for something. So I definitely do want to eventually go back and uh, get my MBA. Um, let's see. Do I have any family in NYC? I do have an auntie in Brooklyn. I have an auntie in Brooklyn. Um, but, or the Bronx. Uh, oh, same thing. Fuck, I'm stupid. Um, but, uh, yeah. So I have, I do have some family in NYC, but mostly when I would go to NYC, it would be for, um, you know, for, for work, for like business. But I also want to go up there and turn up. Like, have a good time. Like, I heard in the summertime it's cool. Um, so I would definitely be open to that. Um, Alaska? Oh, wow. There's people here from Alaska? Um, that's, yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, I would love to visit Alaska one day. Uh, how often do I visit home? Um, honestly, not often enough. I mean, in college, you know, I played ball. So with my football schedule, I really couldn't visit home too often. Um, and then when, you know, now I'm still figuring out best times to like take off work. Um, all right, all right, okay, have a good night. Um, uh, I'm trying to figure out best times on how to take off work, um, and like kind of allocate my time. So I'm still getting used to it. So I haven't been going home as often as I want to, but you know, I do want to make it, um, let's see, Richmond, Indiana. Okay. What's up? All right. You know, hit me up. Uh, do I hope to get any acting gigs? Um, yeah, I'm, I'm open to, I'm open to pretty much anything, like any opportunity that there is out there. Um, I'm willing to try it out. See, I mean, I've never acted before, uh, but I try, you know, I don't want to go in life and be like, damn, like, why didn't you try to do that? You had opportunity. Why didn't you do it? Um, so I definitely want to try it out. Um, let's see. 
Um, oh, so I'll put my social media, like my other social media, like in the description. But for y'all that do want to add me on Snap, it's Quincy underscore 40. Um, and my Instagram is Quincy um, underscore Giles 40. So I was blanking for some reason. Um, but I'll put that, I'll put that information in the description so y'all can add me and follow me. Um, let's see. Good night, Carmela. Okay. Um, Lakota. All right. Good night. I'm glad you stopped by. Uh, do I have any siblings? Um, uh, I have a sister, uh, who just graduated high school. Um, she's going to college and I'm terrified. Um, cause you know, bad people in college, bad intentions. Um, uh, but I think she'll be okay. She'll be all right in the end. Um, but hey, Botswana, I seen you. I will make it out to Botswana. Botswana is on my list of places to go. Um, would I get in a leadership group to motivate young black men? Yeah, I would. Um, one of the things though that I will say is that like I don't want to short myself, but at the same time, like I don't want to be those people that is preaching something that I haven't done myself. Um, so I would definitely rather get in a leadership group. You know, once I'm a little more established and, you know, actually done, you know, and actually am really about and live like what I'm preaching. Like, I, I, I don't really like people that like you see, you see these 19 year olds trying to write, write, you know, books about things that, you know, you should do or should be about or all these things that ain't, they ain't even done nothing themselves. Like, it's like, I, I don't know. I don't want to write and talk about things I haven't experienced for my own. Um, but I would definitely be a part of a leadership group, like especially for like teens. For like teens, yes, like hundred percent, yes. Like I, I would definitely like be a part of a mentorship group for teens, and you know I, I want to be more involved in that in Boston. So if there are opportunities that in Boston, you're in Boston, definitely shoot that stuff to me because I love talking to teens. Um. Oh, hey Carla, hey cousin. Um, I hope Leia's doing well. Um, so I, uh, let's see. Or Lauren, I said Leia. Why my dad confused me saying Leia? But hey, Lauren, tell Lauren I said hello. I don't want that talking about. Um, let's see. No, I'm not an author. I'm not an author. Um, I don't write books. <laughs> I don't plan on writing a book anytime soon. Uh, would I date African girl? Absolutely, I would date an African uh, an African girl. Um, why not? There's, there's beautiful, beautiful women in Africa and. Like I said, I would date pretty much any kind of, I would date, like, any kind of woman. I would never, like, look at a woman and automatically be like, no. Um, I would be open, I'm open to pretty much anything. I'm a very open person. Um, yeah, Sheree, I know, I was supposed to be going to bed, but here I am. Here I am, talking, running my mouth. Um, so, oh, I'm glad Lauren heard me. Um, let's see. See Katarina, is that how you say your name? I don't know, but hey, but hey Katarina, how you doing? Um, Lexi, I'm glad you had fun. I'm glad y'all uh um you stop by. Uh Kenneth, what's up, bro? What's up? How you doing? Um <laughs> do I have a girl? Uh no, I don't have a girl. Um I don't like I said, I don't know about your sister. You put your sister out there like that. Um, so let's see. Oh, finally. I only saw, I saw my first troll in here. So that's my, my first troll. It's the first hater on here. That's funny. Uh, let's see here. Um, Kenneth, bro, said your name. Ken Murray. What's happening, bro? What's up? Um, my favorite holiday. Um, favorite holiday. I'll probably say probably Thanksgiving. That's probably my favorite holiday. Um, it's a great time. You know, you got family, you got a bunch of good food. Um, yeah, what's what's not to love about family? Good food, maybe some music. Um, love all that stuff. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. Am I really single? Yes, I am single. Um, <laughs> Deuce, what's up, bro? What's up? I just seen you. I just seen you, bro. What's up? Um, right. I know. I know. I, I know. I'm trying to. Hey, man. 
I, like I said, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to please everybody. I'm trying to, I'm trying to please everybody. What's up, Deuce? We gotta get up next time I'm in town, bro. Um, let's see, where am I from? So again, I'm from Indianapolis, Indiana. Um, I said born and raised. Now live in Boston. Um, let's see. Um, what's up, Chicago? Let's see. Good night, Lakeisha. Um, what am I mixed with? Um, well, I'm just African American. I'm just black. But you know, as you know, black people, black people in America are mixed up with a bunch of different stuff. So, um, I have African. You know, there's, I'm sure there's different sorts of Native American. Well, I know there's different sorts of Native American. Um, there's you know European. Um, it's all, you know, us black folks in America, we're mixed up with all different kind of stuff. Um, but I mean, both my parents are black. So I get my eyes from my father who is darker than me. Um, so that's where I get like my green eyes from. Um, but let's see. It was nice talking to you too. Good night. Good night. Uh, favorite TV show. Um, so I don't have a, like an absolute favorite, but I love Game of Thrones. Can't wait for that. Come on. I don't know if y'all saw that trailer that just came out. That trailer looks lit. I can't wait for Game of Thrones. Uh, like Power. Can't wait for Power to come back on. I'm waiting on Power. Waiting to see how that plays out. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Power. Uh, Sons of Anarchy. I love Sons of Anarchy. Like That was my show. I love that show. Dexter. Spartacus. I like all different kinds of shows. Um, I've never been to Jamaica, but I will go to Jamaica. Um, let's see. Nia, uh, definitely, I'm going to definitely make it to Atlanta. I'm definitely going to be down there. I might, I might actually be down there sooner than you think, depending on what these people are talking about. I might actually be making a trip down there here real soon. Um, let's see. Uh, yeah, that Game of Thrones trailer is so lit. Uh, but yeah, my Snapchat name it's Quincy underscore forty. Uh, I'm gonna be make sure to I'm gonna make sure to put it uh, in the description so y'all have all that information. Um, but but yeah, so uh, if I had one wish uh, and I could wish for anything, what would it be? Um, wow. Um, what would I wish for? Man, I mean, one thing I guess I would love, it's going to sound corny, but I would wish everyone would take the opportunity and take the time to get to know each other. Um, I would love that everyone would, you know, not make assumptions about what a person is thinking, what they what they meant to say. Um, I feel like that leads to a lot of conflict or a lack of understanding of one another is what leads to uh, a lot of different problems. So if I could wish for something, I would wish that everyone, before they make judgments and assumptions and decisions about what somebody needs or what somebody wants, what somebody desires, what somebody thinks, that they would first take the effort to get to know like what you know they're really trying to do and what they're really about. Uh, so that's what I would say. Um, uh, I just want to watch this. <laughs> well, I appreciate you stopping by for whatever reason you did. Uh, so I've been growing my hair since I was um, since I was nine years old. Um, I've had it for fourteen years now. Um, again, my Snapchat name is Quincy. Q-U-I-N-C-Y underscore 40. I'll make sure to put it in the description. Um, let's see here. No, <laughs> I can't just be giving out my number on <laughs> it's just for, for thousands of people to have. So can't do that. Um, let's see here. What else? What else? Let's see. What time is it, y'all? I got to get going soon. Um, all right, y'all. Well, I'm about to be out of here. Um, unless I see, no, I haven't been to Japan. I want to get, I want to do that one day. Um, but I'm about to wrap this thing up. Um, we'll see. Do I ever think about being a motivational speaker? Uh, yeah, I, I want to, I don't want to make that my, necessarily my profession, but you know, I like doing those things. 
Um, let's see, I'm 23. Um, let's see, who's that saying Quincy motherfucking Jones? Who's who's saying that? I have to go back and look at that. Who said that? Ugh, I missed it. I have to go back and look at it. That was like one of the things people used to say back in college. That's funny. Uh, but anyway, all right, y'all. Well, I'm about to be out. Good night. Um, I'm glad I got to talk to y'all. I'm glad y'all tuned in. I'm glad y'all listened. Um, I really enjoyed my conversation with y'all. Y'all are, um, I, like, I loved hearing your perspectives. You know, I love, you know, answering your questions. And again, like, I'll do this every now and then. I'm not going to do this all the time, right? Because don't nobody care about what I'm talking about. <laughs> you know what I mean? That much. But, um, but I wanted to give y'all the opportunity to get to know me. I wanted y'all to give y'all the opportunity to ask me anything you wanted to ask. Um, so I hope y'all enjoyed this. And I'm so very thankful and appreciative that y'all would be like this interested in what I have to say and get to know me. Like, it's crazy. Like, I, I never would have thought. I never would have thought. Um, so I'm very appreciative. I feel very blessed. You know, thank you guys so much. Um, so, all right. So yeah, I'm going to bed for real this time. I hope something's open. I ain't ate. I'm hungry. Um, so anyway, all right. Good night, y'all. I'll talk to y'all later. Be easy. And again, this is not like my real, like I said, I'm not going to be posting on this page. Like I'm not going to be, um, you know, I'm gonna have to cut it off eventually because it can't handle the traffic. So definitely go to my other page. Like my a lot of my other posts are from that official page. Um, yes, I've been to Washington D.C. before. I plan on going again. Um, but anyway, go to my other official page. You know, like that. That's where I'm gonna be doing these live stuff from, and that's what I'm gonna be most active on. So thanks again, y'all. Talk to y'all later. All right, peace.